Now, Prince Harry has been given special permission by the palace to wear his military uniform in a special mm -hmm. tribute to the Queen. The Duke of Sussex will wear the armed forces colours at a lying-in state vigil staged by Her Majesty's grandchildren at Westminster Hall. Yeah, the Queen's eight grandchildren will pay their respects at a vigil on Saturday night London time, standing in silence for 15 minutes alongside their grandmother's coffin. Uh, joining us now is Daily Mirror Royal Editor Russell Myers, who broke this story. Russell, good to see you. Um, why is Harry being given permission to do this? Is this an olive branch from, from the King? Well, I think first and foremost, common sense has prevailed because you, you look at the scenes we've seen this week and Prince Harry walking the procession without his uniform on. I mean, this is a man who dedicated his life to a decade of service in the British military. He served two tours of Afghanistan. Um, he's done tremendous work for veterans. You just saw him last yep. week being welcomed with open arms by Invictus uh, family. And then um, we found out that he wasn't uh, willing or wasn't allowed to wear his, uh, his military uniform, which I think was a great shame. So um, I think that uh, the, the palace officials, as I understand it, got together and said, you know, there, there, there is an outpouring of emotion for Harry. I mean, he's a man who just lost his grandmother, perhaps mm. his only ally in this family at the moment. Yes. Um, yes. And I think you saw those pictures. He looked absolutely crestfallen when he was in, uh, coming to Balmoral. So do you think he'll be able to wear it for the funeral then? No, I don't think so. I think that um, he will be wearing it at this vigil. Um, this vigil will take place on Saturday and uh, it will be a mark of respect from the Queen's eight grandchildren. We saw one uh, earlier in the week with, uh, with her children standing by the coffin and this will be uh, take a, a similar vein of, of that um, I understand. Yeah, how, how special will it be for the grandkids to be doing that? That's pretty amazing isn't it? It is and uh, you, uh, at every twist and turn this week we've seen huge moments of history haven't we and, um, and I don't think the people filing into St Giles Cathedral would have you know, dreamt about a scene that they saw of the king standing at the base of the coffin, yeah. flanked by his siblings. And, and again, I think this will be a very, very special moment for the family. So at the funeral, he and Andrew won't be in military. No, 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 no. They're still, still. Um, it's still very formulaic. I mean, the state procession, the state funeral takes on uh, you know, centuries old traditions. I mean, we've seen um, everything happening by the book this week. And I think right. this is just a, a sort of gift to Harry, if you will, because um, w the, the Duke of York, who has you know, left his family in disgrace over the past couple of years, he um, was being permitted to uh, allowed to wear his military uniform for the vigil that would take place on Friday evening. Yeah. And I think that but um, everyone would have thought Good. it was a, an unfair talking point for Harry. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Agreed. Okay, thanks very much, Russell.